Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about weapon masteries of throne and liberty. This is very important topic because this will determine real power of your weapon. What are they and how to get them you'll see in the next few minutes. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of throne and liberty videos in the future. Okay, that was introduction, now let's talk about weapon masteries. Where to find them? Let me show you here first. If you press escape on your main user menu, on main user interface, you'll find this user interface and actually they're kind of little bit hidden. You need to press on your skills here in the upper part of this user interface. You will see here all of the active skills and passive skills of two different weapons which you are currently using in the game. And then you need to click on this icon here below your weapon. This is marked with five greatsword or five wound. Let me show you here weapon masteries of greatsword. You can see here charge, incapacitate, face off. And also I can show you here Different weapon masteries, of course, for wound, damage, recovery, and weaken. So each weapon has three different weapon masteries. I will show you a little bit later what that actually means. You can see here, you can decide in which direction you want to go. For example, here for wound, you can see here we have damage, recovery, and weaken. Each one of these different trees will give you different kind of special effects, special bonus for your weapon. It can be damage, it can be recovery, it can be basically, it can be direction you want to go. Maybe you want to have more survivability, maybe you want to have more mana regeneration or health regeneration, maybe you want to have more damage on your weapon or maybe critical hit. This will determine true power of your weapon. How to actually get this weapon mastery, how to develop it, I will show you that in a second, but first let's check what are you actually getting, for example, here for wound. You can see here in the upper tree, we have damage, so base damage plus four, then we have damage bonus plus two, which contract, this is curse damage 6% up, this is very good actually. Then we have forward base damage, what do we have here, plus eight, Range, this is very nice, range plus 4%, very nice effect. And what else? Mana regeneration, 56. This is damage tree, let's call it like that. Here in this recovery part, you can see, for example, we have melee defense plus 40, attack speed plus 1.2%, deep pain. This effect will give you magical critical hit plus 60 and so on. Let me show you here for greatsword, for example, we have charge. Range defense plus 40, melee evasion plus 40, passionate cheer. This will give Amitoi heal plus 6%. This is very important actually. Amitois are special pets in Throne and Liberty. I've already done video on my YouTube channel regarding Amitois. Uh, check that video on my YouTube channel. Basically, Amitois will help you throughout your journey, throughout the leveling, and even in Endgame of Throne and Liberty, they will heal you certain amount of HP all the time. And you can see here, 6% up with this effect. Incapacitate, another effect here, mana regeneration plus 14, melee hit plus 20, and so on. You can see here, you can reset. For example, if you're not happy in which direction you went, you can basically go back. It will cost you some gold. Solent, that is one of the income currencies of Throne and Liberty. I'm preparing special new video regarding different kind of in-game currencies of Throne and Liberty to clearly understand how to get them and how to use them in the game. That is one of the new videos which you will see very soon on my YouTube channel. But now, let's go back to Weapon Mastery. How do you actually increase your Weapon Mastery? Where are you getting these skill points? I will not call it, I will not call it actually skill points. I should call it actually Weapon Mastery points. How to get them? Let me show you here. It's actually written here, <coughs> sorry, it's actually written here. You can see your equipped weapon grows proportional to the experience you earn. That means basically by playing the game. This is actually really important information because if you think that you can use during leveling two weapons and then reach end game and completely switch to another different set of weapons, well, you are wrong. I mean, actually you can do that, but what about weapon mastery? Because during leveling process, you are using your weapons, you are using them a lot and you are getting this weapon mastery. So the more you use your weapon, the more you get of this weapon mastery. Also, it's important to say, while you're using your main weapon or 
that weapon which you have in the hand, your offhand weapon is also getting experience, it's also getting weapon mastery, but only 50% not full 100%. So, for example, when I'm playing with my greatsword, which I actually did in the game, also my wand, even if I didn't use it, was getting some experience, however, only 50%. That is important to understand. So, why is this very important to understand? Because of simple reason. For example, here I have reached endgame with these two weapons, greatsword and wound. I have used these weapons basically during my whole leveling process. Now, when I would like to switch to entirely different set of weapons, let's say staff and dagger combination. I can do that. I can do that very easily. Basically, I can craft different kind of weapons in crafting system and I can switch to different combination of weapons. But what about my mastery of weapons? It's gone. It's completely gone. I would need to build up again my weapon mastery from zero because that new staff or dagger which I will use from now on I didn't use so far. So in the future, developers of the game, maybe they will prepare some kind of in-game system where you'll be able to transfer your weapon mastery to another weapon. But for now, it's very, very important that on the start of your journey, when you start to level up your character, you really need to pick weapons which you will also use in endgame. That is very important. So be careful regarding that choice. You need to pick right away weapon which you will actually use in endgame. Check on my YouTube channel. I already have lots of guides regarding different kind of combination of weapons and I'm preparing guides regarding different kind of meta builds. Meta build for range DPS, meta build for melee DPS, for healing and for tanking. I'm preparing those videos you'll see very soon on my YouTube channel because I have noticed over there in Korea while uh, playing the game, I'm playing over there every evening. Check my live streams on Twitch, visit me on Twitch. If you have any kind of questions regarding the game, I'll be glad to answer. I have noticed that metas have started to appear. Yes, metas have started to appear. It depends on what I want to play. Do you want to play some role of a healer or maybe tank or melee DPS or range DPS? Some metas have already started to appear. Even that, yes, you can pick any combination of weapons what you want, absolutely. Some combinations are better than others for sure. So this is very, very important choice, right? We are making that choice which two weapons you are going to use in the game. Be careful, because in endgame, you can switch. You can switch to entirely different set of weapons, but then your masteries are gone. Your masteries are going to zero. There is no in-game system currently in the game which will allow you to transfer mastery from one weapon to another. Maybe in the future, NCSoft will add this to the game, but for now, you cannot do that. So now you understand what weapon masteries actually means. For example, here, even that I'm playing here with Greatsword, I can go on the side of critical hit or damage, or maybe more on survivability. All depends. Also, another mastery, right? You can see here, masteries for wound. I can go pure healing for wound, for example, but I can also go in the damage skill tree, actually, weapon mastery tree, right? So that is very important. Can you reset? You can see here, basically you can reset one by one by spending a lots of really huge amount of this gold soul and currency, right? You can go back and you can move these mastery points in another tree. However, now you clearly understand what are weapon masteries and why are they so important? In the future, you will see some dedicated videos on my YouTube channel. Which weapon masteries should you actually pick for weapon, greatsword, sword and shield, staff, dagger, crossbow, for each weapon of throne and liberty? I'll make some dedicated videos in the future. But for this evening, I wanted to show you what is actually meaning of weapon mastery and how to get it. And why is this very important on the start of your story, on the start of your journey in throne and liberty? Be careful which weapons are you picking. Because like I said, in endgame, if you want to switch to another set of weapons, yes, you can do that. However, there is no system in the game currently which would transfer your weapon mastery from your old weapon to your new weapon. That doesn't exist. During your gameplay, yes, you will switch, you'll get a better gear. For example, here I have a blue greatsword. You can see here, I will switch it later for a purple greatsword. My weapon mastery still remains, everything is normal because I'm using the same type of the weapon. However, when I would like to switch now to staff or dagger instead of this greatsword, 
my weapon mastery is gone. I would need to build up again for another weapon, staff or dagger, completely new weapon mastery from the start by playing the game. Basically, when you use your weapon, the more you use it, the more weapon mastery you get. Everything what I have done on my greatsword during leveling hours and hours of gameplay would be ruined until that moment, right? Because I'm switching to another type of the weapon. If you, for example, switch now to purple greatsword, your weapon mastery remains. So this doesn't mean that you're switching different kind of weapons, but it needs to be the same type. I hope you, you understand that, right? So regarding weapon mastery, this is important to understand. And if you are interested in Throne and Liberty, check my YouTube channel. I'm preparing lots of guides before the global release of the game. Already now I have 100 videos, actually a little bit more than 100 videos regarding different kind of in-game systems of Throne and Liberty, regarding crafting, regarding gathering, life skills, to some point because we actually don't have life skills in Thrall and Liberty, but we have gathering. That's another topic. Local and regional events, uh, guild bosses, guild versus guild content, boss raids. Check those videos on my YouTube channel while we are waiting for global release of Throne and Liberty. For this evening, I wanted to let you know short introduction to clearly explain what actually weapon masteries means and how to get them. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content and of course Throne and Liberty content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.